Goje, a mysterious land on the southeast coast of South Korea. The climate is temperate and kept relatively warm by the influence of warm ocean currents. At its center is this intriguing rock island called Hegum. Boasting superb natural beauty, its mysterious cliffs tower over 300 feet above the sea. In ancient times, Chinese adventurers braved these high cliffs, pursuing a mythical, magical elixir rumored to provide eternal life. In 221 BC, late Chinese Emperor Qin Shi Huang ordered his subjects to locate this elixir that would make him immortal. 3,000 servants boarded 60 ships for this voyage and first arrived in Hegum. They were convinced this island contained that one and only plant because of the mystifying effects from these cliffs and rocks. The origin of Hegum's name is rooted in North Korean geography. The structure looks so similar to North Korea's Mount Gamgang. Hegum literally means Mount Gamgam in the middle of the ocean. The magnificent sights here is the breathtaking combination of bizarre rocks and the stratified bluffs of Dong De Som Lighthouse Island and Some Muldo Island. At low tide, one can walk from one island to the other. Wedo is a marine botanical garden. In 1969, Li Cheng Ho first came to the island to escape from the wind and waves as he was fishing. He and his wife created this breathtaking landscape with all their care for 30 years. It is home to more than 3,000 plant species, including subtropical plants such as cactus, palm tree, Tanzania, and eucalyptus. Shipjagul Cave is over 100 meters long. It has been called Shipjagul, meaning cross in Korean, because it looks like a cross when viewed from the sky. The height of the rock walls in the inside of the cave are so fascinating. Prior to 2010, access to Goje was limited to ferries. With the completion of the dual bridges and tunnel system that comprise the Busan Goje Direct Expressway Link, access by both express bus and by car has been made significantly faster and easier.